The 90s kid in me is screaming inside because I'm here in LA ready to chat to the cast of Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom. Bryce Dallas Howard, Chris Pratt, I'm coming for you. Well, Jurassic World hit $1.6 billion at the box office, so it's not really a surprise that we're sitting here chatting about oh a sequel, is it? word. It's true. Oh my it's Does true. it blow you away? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, the success of the first film was really, really... Uh, Startling. Yeah, and mind-blowing. It's really exciting to be back on a second film, and especially now having seen this trailer. This is gonna be awesome. To know that the world is in store for another classic and amazing Jurassic Park movie. What an awesome wave to be on. And Chris, you actually predicted your role in the franchise seven years ago? Yeah, that's right. I was with you the day that you figured that out, when we were like yeah. in the jungle and you were like, look at this thing, this is so crazy. Yeah, that's right. I did. That's <laughs> I do weird creepy. stuff. Weird stuff <laughs> in my life that happens that if I told you, you wouldn't believe it's true at all. Really? All the time. <laughs> crazy miracles. <laughs> I brought a, a yellow jacket back to life. Oh, yes? The other day. <laughs> yes. No, but you've done this I've done before. it before. Yeah. I yeah. gave it CPR, and then it woke up, and then it and stung my finger. No, legit CPR. He does CPR. I gave CPR to a dead bee, and then it woke up and stung my finger. <gasps> I'm not even kidding. Wow. That happened. <laughs> and it was real. I know magic. Sounds kind of crazy, but it's real. I love it. And you really bring it to life in cinema. Oh, I do? Oh, yeah, I you know. do. Thank you. I appreciate it. Now, Bryce, in Jurassic World, you were kind of like a reptile yourself. Hear me out. Yes, yeah. Shedding the corporate skin of Claire and becoming a really gutsy woman. Yeah. Was that a fun character arc for you? Yeah, it really was. It, it really, really was because it's like playing someone who is courageous and ferocious and ambitious is, I mean, that's a fun character to play in general, but then to, to get to ha kind of have the journey where like she's all in white and then by the end, like I'm just like covered in mud. Like it's, <laughs> it's like, I just wanted to throw mud at her like in the first scene. So it was this great situation where it's a character that I really love and a personality that I really love. And yet this story, the first Jurassic World brought her down to earth. And, and then she was kind of like her best self from there. It's like, that was her journey to becoming, you know, who she who she's meant to be. I don't know what it is about these Jurassic movies, but they really seem to get ingrained in popular culture. Mm -hmm. This famous scene where yes. you're taming the raptors. Yes. This was recreated by zookeepers yeah. the world over. Mm -hmm. How are you going to top that in this movie? Yeah, <laughs> um, I'll tell you what, I'll tell you how. I, I'm so excited for people to see this. Uh, we get to ex further explore Owen's relationship to Blue. Yeah. Mm -hmm. With Besties. not, yes. yeah, we get to see the true nature of that relationship and and actually build that relationship as like you know man and beast or or you know master and pet or whatever. Like we get to further dive into that relationship and so there's some pretty iconic you know scenes between Owen and Blue in this film. I don't know if we're gonna ever top this moment, <laughs> but certainly we ride that same wave in a new way into new territory. Nice. And for you, Bryce, of course, people made such a massive deal about you running Real in heels. My heel sprinter. Oh, I take that as such a compliment. <laughs> yeah, you're very good at running in heels. Are we going to see the heels in this one, or is it RIP? Well, there's no running in heels. No, 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 no. That was for for Claire. She was dressed for a day at work. Mm -hmm. That's she was dressed for her corporate uh, career, not to you know sprint about in the um, jungle. So this time it's different, because this time there's an event that's happening on the island. There's, there's an extinction level event that is threatening the lives of all of the dinosaurs. And, and we're, we're choosing to go back to save them. And, um, and so, yes, I certainly didn't dress in heels for that. Adventure. But you heard that there was gonna be a sequel in a text message about the heels, right? Yes, yes. <laughs> Colin texted me and he wrote, hashtag no heels 2018. So that's, that's amazing. That's amazing. Yeah. <laughs> now, in the previous movie, I was like, are these guys going to hook up? And then you didn't know that Chris was going to kiss you, and that's the take in the movie? Oh, yes. Well, it wasn't It wasn't written as a kiss. Um, and then that was something that, like, as we were shooting it and stuff, there was a huge crowd of people because there was, I think, like 800 background artists and so it was this thing where we were just trying to honor the fact that it was like this this 
very realistic situation and we were surrounded by all these people and everything and I think Colin and Chris talked and everything and, and I mean I, well, and I had Claire a just had this really amazing heroic moment where she actually <laughs> saved me where Owen becomes the damsel in distress and she's super badass at this point and is covered in mud and kicks that thing and blasts it off of me and it was like <laughs> how nice if I was or the quote unquote gal who got saved by this yes. powerful force and then that turned into the kiss. Yeah, which is cool. <laughs> which dinosaur would be your spirit animal? Probably um, T-Rex, but instead of little baby arms, I got little baby intelligence. <laughs> <laughs> Ignorance is bliss. It is. So it's they a say. very blissful place. <laughs> Luckily, we don't have to wait 65 million years for our second dose of dino. Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom hits cinemas in 2018.